I personally love that October is starting on a Tuesday instead of a Monday because sometimes when it's a Monday but it's also the first of the month I feel this like enormous weight of pressure that I need to have a really really good Monday because it's also a really really good beginning of the month so I personally am a fan of the first of a month starting on a Tuesday because it's Monday and I'm gonna spend today prepping for the new month starting with being at my work I have not clocked in yet but I have like a dry erase board that I put the the month on and then just whatever else I want but I did not update it at all in September I just erased August off of it last week so I'm gonna do it for October even though I'm moving job locations, not jobs, job locations. We're moving to a different part of the city. It seems kind of silly to have skipped the month that I was here the whole time, but then to actually do the month that I'm leaving at some point. But the reason I'm doing it is because I have a very full October and I just need the motivation as soon as I walk in on my board to power through. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. This is what it looked like for August and i erased the month that i had it right there but i was gonna just keep it like this because i like that quote but honestly that is not very fall and this needs to be more fall so this is the before and here is the final final nothing crazy i'm not that creative of a person um but it does say october and then be consistent just because i have a lot of plans and i want to be consistent at keeping up with them be the sunshine i i like i like reminding myself to just just be the sunshine and then also to enjoy the busy because again lots and lots of things to do this month and i don't want to cancel like i want to just enjoy being busy for once because I don't usually and then I put a little quote enjoy the fall as it paves away for a new climb just because I thought that was so cute for this season and it still has fall in it and I don't know I just think that would be really special to have on there but yeah getting ready for the new month I swear my weeknights go by so so fast I got home from work and it's already 5 30 um joe is making dinner right now we're having burgers and fries and i would love to get some reading done tonight i just started reading a good lie i think it's called i think it's called a good lie by a.r tor tori yeah the good lie by a.r tor hi hi i just filming hello world bye Peace out. I'm so excited to eat, to watch Gilmore Girls. My lips are stupid chapped. I really need to go ahead and take my makeup off so I can actually fully relax. So I'll do that. But as soon as I got home, I put a sweatshirt on and then I got these like boxer shorts from Walmart. I really like them, but I am so glad that monday is over tomorrow is october that's crazy i love october Ooh, smells good in here yum are you having grapes with your dinner wow. got some fries cooking Good morning. I'm so sorry. The lighting is garbage. It is Tuesday now and I'm working on two different parts of campus today. So I wanted to look a little nicer. I even wore heels, but I did stop at the gas station to grab an energy drink. Sometimes the one that I go to that's closest to my house does not have a lani. So I was preparing on trying something new. Uh, but they did have an Alani and I always want to grab it if it's there. But I saw this Amino Energy. I'm going to try it before I open the Alani and I will let you know. Um, but I was excited because it has 100 milligrams of caffeine instead of 200 like Alani does. Um, and it also has electrolytes and amino acids. So I'm excited to try that. And then every time I go to this gas station, I've made it a mission to pick up one of these. I had my first one a few weeks ago and it was so good. Really sweet, but really good. And I don't know, I thought it was super, super good. And I'm excited to have that as a little treat later, especially since I'm having to work at two different parts of campus. I 
deserve a little something something. I'm almost finished with, and I'll give you a book update. <clears throat> I'm almost finished with the Good Lie by AR Tour. I'm not really enjoying it to be honest it's quick and it's fast which i appreciate but i'm not super enjoying it it feels like something i've read before and then i was combing my shelves to find a book that i want to start reading i really hope that i'm in focus i was combing my shelves to find a book that i want to read for just fall and spooky season and i saw this on my shelf that i've not read yet it's called let him in by william friend friend yeah wow cool love that last name um and it was sent to me last year it came out last october october 3rd of 2023 and i never i never read it um which if it's really good i'll be so mad at myself i'm sorry this is a very close up but yeah i'm hoping that this book is is good we'll see okay i'm gonna go into work i'm wearing a very cozy sweater and oh i also you know what i'll just update you when the lighting is better i just finished my lunch i had to drive from one part of campus to another and i went ahead and did a review on my tiktok of this new energy drink but i had to tell the vlog as well i feel like i'm always in such a better mood after i eat in the morning i'm like hi guys like this is what i'm doing but now i'm like oh i ate lunch i tried a new energy drink that i didn't totally hate um as i said on my tiktok i'm gonna wait and see just how i feel as i drink it because that also matters like the effects and stuff but it does have a very heavy strawberry artificial flavor i want to try other flavors so we'll see we'll see but if you know anything about these or you know a good energy drink alternative let me know but uh, yeah I, I wish i wish i did not get ooh, i wish i didn't get the strawberry i have four and a half more hours of work uh, oh my lord and i have the house to myself tonight so i did not realize that until this morning that joe has a play to go see he's gonna go see les mis with his sister so i am probably gonna door dash chipotle but if not then i'll probably have like sauerkraut because he hates sauerkraut and i love when he's not home because then i can eat as much of it as i want every time i cook it and he is home he opens a window it is the end of the week and I have not vlogged as much throughout the week as I thought I was going to. But I have a very busy weekend and I'm going to take you along with me for a weekend in my life. And it is Thursday but I have a lot, a lot, a lot to do today. Tomorrow after work I'm going straight to my best friend's house and then we're going to grab some food and then go see Jesse McCartney. And I have no idea what I'm wearing so when I get home from work that is one of the first things I'm going to be doing is trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to Jesse McCartney. I'm probably gonna go very basic just so that I'm comfortable and something else I want to do is I want to celebrate my husband and on TikTok one of my mutuals Selena Spooky Boo she bought her husband flowers and I felt so inspired so on my way home I'm gonna stop and get Joe some flowers and then he ran out of coffee creamer so I should probably grab him some coffee creamer as well I need to pick out my outfit I also need to do my nails tonight we are watching on Netflix the monsters show the Eric Menendez and Lyle Menendez case and I just sat there and anxiously picked off my acrylics they were kind of loose anyway and for the concert I want to be you know funky fresh so I need to spend this work day just scraping the glue off of my nails and then tonight I need to do those pick out my outfit stop and grab something for Joe maybe I'll grab something super super easy for dinner but I'm working today at a totally different part of campus than I normally work at I'm a um I work in the bursar's office at a local college so I had to pick up some food on the way since I won't be in my normal office. I've got a Taylor Farms Green Goddess Ranch Salad and then I have some chicken from home. Um, I got two Alani's because they were two for four but I didn't have my Kroger card with me so I didn't actually get them two for four. And then I got a green juice. So I'm going to leave one of these Alani's in the car so I don't accidentally leave it at work because like i said this is not not my main campus i need to grab my water 
Okay, so I've got about 10 minutes before I have to head into work, but it's gonna be a busy afternoon and I will just chat with you when I can. If it's after work, it's after work. I pulled out this blue sweater that I thrifted. I pulled it out of my drawer of sweaters because it's finally getting chilly. Uh, so I'm so excited and I just cannot wait for the weekend. Okay, I'm gonna head into work. Are you recording? I can't see, the sun is real bright. I just got off of work, oh! I just got off of work. I'm heading home, but I am stopping to grab husband some flowers because he definitely deserves them. I'm so excited to hear about his day. But yeah, I'm on my way to pick up some flowers. Hold on to your britches. Hilarious story. I actually interviewed for a different position at this college that I work at. I interviewed there, um, like a month before I interviewed the position that I have now and I got denied the position that I had initially wanted um which looking back I am so glad I was denied that I feel like that happened for a reason because I just don't think it was a good fit for me um but I run into the person like I've done it three times in the three months since I've worked there. I ran into the person who interviewed me and essentially denied me the position. And it is, it's weird. Um, my boss even introduced me to her like, oh, this is our new hire Brooke and she's so great and blah, blah, blah. And I shook her hand and I was like, it's nice to meet you. Aren't you so mad that you turned down all of this? Now I'm doing better in a different department. No, but it's that, that I didn't expect that to happen. To be honest, I didn't expect myself to remember what she looked like because I'm so bad at that, but I did, unfortunately. But yeah, I ran into her on my way out the door and I was like beaming because I was leaving. So I was like, oh, excuse me, hi. Um, and she's like, oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just got to Kroger. While I was driving here, my car hit 100,000 miles. I think that is so cool. I tried my best to record it as safely as possible, but happy 100K, girl. But yeah, I need to go into Kroger and get my husband some well-deserved flowers. I need my wallet. Got it. All right, I'm gonna go get those flowers. I'm really hoping they have orange. Oh, got the goods. They did not have the best bushel, bouquet, not bushel. They did not have the best bouquet selections, but he loves orange. So that was as close as we were gonna get. I'm gonna go home, give Honey Bear his flowers, see what we're gonna have for dinner and then I need to figure out what outfit I'm wearing to Jesse McCartney I need to figure out when I'm gonna sit down and do my nails probably after dinner and I think that's it it's just outfit and nails I've been listening to the Jesse McCartney 2024 tour set list but I wanted to say I got Joe flowers but I also got him some coffee creamer and this is actually brand new he loves white chocolate mocha um, and I thought I could try that because I actually used up all of his creamer this morning when I made him coffee. So I wanted to replace that, but I'm about to go in and give my cutie bear his flowers. I hate when my coworkers see me filming. It's just so awkward. I have absolutely been trash at filming this week. I don't even know what I've filmed. Pretty sure I've just recorded me yapping for multiple days. I don't even know what this vlog is, but I'm gonna post it anyway, just to get in the habit of posting. And I'm gonna start a totally new vlog because tonight, it's Friday, I'm at work right now. Tonight is Jesse McCartney with my friends. And then tomorrow is a Mean Girls brunch, which I'm so excited for. It's a Mean Girls drag brunch. And then Sunday, I want to kind of show my husband how to edit YouTube videos and see if that's something he would be interested in. Maybe um, we could explore that. And also, I feel like I would post more if he was around to help me edit because I don't love editing. But I am so excited. I had TikTok pick out my outfit and they pretty much said ripped jeans, black shirt. So that's what I wore today, except I did not wear the jeans. I brought this huge tote. Um, which I'm not going to show you too much because I want to show you in the weekend vlog. But 
This is everything I brought with me to work. I got it from Ellen Hildebrand PR, which is insane. Um, and this is the purse I'm gonna carry tonight if the venue allows it. Never been to this venue before, but we'll see. I'm gonna end off today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I have no idea what this vlog even was, but stay tuned for the next one because I'm gonna film this weekend and I'm so excited. Thank you for watching. I love you so much and I hope you have the best day. This work day is gonna go on forever.